So this is a group of students who is working for a semester on one question, which is how to make society better. And uh, they work on many topics, uh, ranging from individual issues to very broad issues. And uh, they have come up with uh, innovative solutions or with big conundrums. And they wanted to share their ideas. So my research really pertains to how could we solve this problem of voter ignorance. Uh, so one of the big reforms I'd like to see made as we move forward in the 21st century is, is educational reform, specifically the incorporation of ethics into both the classroom and the educational system. So if I can make one change in society in my lifetime, I would like to use technology to make education simultaneously more social and more individualized than it currently is. You see that nowadays in least developed countries, People are still using the internet in more limited ways and that by expanding the ability to use the internet, we can actually allow them to create infrastructure for themselves that we couldn't create for ourselves when we were at that level of development. And as we increasingly live in an interconnected world, there is, there is great hope that, there is, that equitable health care is a goal that may not be so far off. I think the real problem is sort of redundancy within the system. So I'd like to see a lot more collaboration, both on the uh, research side, seeing companies sort of sharing their research with each other, and also on the approval end, seeing um, maybe a globalization of drug approval. So really what I'd like to see is greater action taken by the FDA and many other groups to see that we have comprehensive, concrete labeling of food. You can't make the right choice if you don't know what the right choice is. And so the one change that I'd like to see in the world is policy, more policy um, dedicated to improving and promoting the use of renewable energy sources. And one of the ways we, I recommend we could do that, or that I would like to see that happen, is the establishment of a sort of department or environmental advocacy group within each government or nation. Yes, and then of course, you know, whether you're a nonprofit, a business, just a student, it, these pricing skills are going to be different for everything. But the big idea that we really need to focus on is that information is accessible to everyone. Everyone can use it. It's very fair to everyone. You don't have a, a Disney out there with a lot more legal protection than others. Um, it's a very egalitarian sort of society when it comes to copyright law. And this is the main question of my research is, is it my right as an individual to do what I want with my own body, or is it the responsibility of the state to intervene to protect my health and well-being? But I think a very good place to start would be to make sure that everybody can practice religion as they want to do it. Okay, so I originally started out researching terrorism, um, but that kind of evolved into, I research a lot about Islamophobia, especially here in the United States. I think it's important that we recognize and realize that terrorism is a concept that has been around since the beginning of time or since the beginning of recorded history. So understanding terrorism in that larger context will help us then to deal with the root of the problem, which is really extremism and radicalization. I think As we raise the next generation with better expectations of what we have now, and if we keep raising our children um, to believe that they really can do anything regardless of gender roles and regardless of the societal and complex expectations we have on them, I feel like the world can truly be a better place. And maybe not the perfect place, but a better place.